Hey, you all, oh, Carpetbagger here. And we are still, we are still, believe it or not, we are still in Columbus, Ohio. I have uh, still dealing with major car issues. Uh, if I could just give a little update here at the uh, beginning of the video. Uh, my hope, yesterday my hope was that I could trade, I got in my car wreck. My hope was that I could trade in my car to just get a new car. It was about time, you know, I've had the car. I got the car in 2020, so it was it, it was time to think about trading it in. So I was thinking about trading it in, getting a new, uh, a new car. I talked with a car salesman uh, on the phone yesterday, and he said he would have to look into it, but he thought that that might be something that we could do. Um, he never called me back. Um, I called this morning, and he wasn't there. Um, I don't know, he appears to have vanished. So I spoke with um, another car salesman at the same, uh, at the same dealership, and he, um, he told me he would do some research and get back to me. So again, waiting, and he got back to me, and he said, sorry, can't do that. Um, he said that uh, they can't use the wrecked car as a trade-in until um, it has been repaired because they won't know the full extent of the damage and cannot uh, do an evaluation on it. So um, uh, Jen is here with me in Columbus, but um, but I, I I'm waiting. I'm waiting on uh, Tuesday. There's supposed to be allegedly there will be a uh, a uh, what you call it. What do you call those people? A uh, the, the people someone that comes out and assesses the damage from Geico, an appraiser? Is it an appraiser, an assessor, a adjuster? I think, it, is it adjuster? Uh, they come out and uh, look at the car, figure out how much damage is done. There's a small possibility, with as many miles as I have on the car, that it could be declared as a, um, they could be totaled, which, Honestly, at this point, I maybe I'm just hoping that it is totaled so I can uh, go on and uh, and put that money towards getting a new vehicle. Also, I uh, I cannot get my rental car until Tuesday. And again, my accident was uh, I think that was Thursday. So Thursday until Tuesday with no vehicle. Um, I, you know, I'm fortunate. I'm fortunate that I had Jen close enough where she could come out and and be with me and help me. But um, but yeah, I can imagine other people in a similar situation or uh, without without extra resources like that just being completely, completely, um, it, it, it just, it just in, a, in a bad situation. I, uh, I'm staying at a, a hotel in Columbus. Luckily, it's not a, a pretty cheap rate on the hotel I'm staying in. Um, even though the uh, elevator's been out for two days and my, we're on the sixth floor, but uh, I want to. I want to. I'm trying. I'm trying to move forward. I'm trying to not wallow in misery. And so uh, I wanted to go ahead and uh, start putting some content in on this channel that isn't just me feeling bad about uh, my situation, about my car situation. So we're gonna do something fun this evening. Because in this nearly abandoned strip mall here in Columbus, we have one of the greatest attractions. In all of Ohio, we have Otherworld. So yes, Otherworld here in Columbus, Ohio, an interactive, immersive, artistic environment. Um, I've been here before. It's an absolutely amazing uh, attraction. And the last time I was here, they were in the process of adding in uh, some new exhibits. So I was super excited about seeing the new exhibits being added. So I figured it's been, <laughs> it's been a stressful couple days. Let's uh, enjoy our time here at Otherworld. Oh yeah, also, they are, they're, they're, there's going to be a second Otherworld uh, being built in the next couple of months, or it's it probably already built in the process of opening in the next couple of months in uh, Philadelphia. So we have the uh, Columbus Otherworld here, and soon there will be the F Philadelphia Otherworld, and I will make a point of trying to get out there uh, sometime, sometime here in 2023. But uh, for now, let's head into the Ohio version of Otherworld. Right. 
like, here we go. I think they do these seasonal sculptures here. So you see we have some uh, giant owls, I think. Are these, uh, these are owls, aren't they? All right, but it's time to head in. You can see the crashing waves there on this screen. Oh, just turned into, turned into fireflies or something. You can see the red tentacles there in the hallway. So you thought this was, you didn't think this was actually... I thought the illusion was here. I thought this was just a closet for like... Well, it is a, it is a closet. It's a closet it's full of other world class accelerant. Oh. Let's see all these my favorite. cans here. But uh, did you smush these with your mind? Maybe someone did. Carol never wore safety goggles. Now she doesn't need them because she doesn't have any more eyes. <laughs> Remember, interacting with doppelgangers is strictly prohibited. Alright, I think we're gonna head into this. This locker here. Above here, there's some creature made out of rubber cleaning gloves with, I think, some sort of toilet brush for a head. Weird. Her name's Levine. Levine? <laughs> where does it say her name's Levine? Because that's the word for the bathroom. Isn't it? Latrine. Latrine. <laughs> and then a mop person there and some sort of garbage can creature oh what's this is this a what's this creature here man there's paint brushes oh it's like paint rollers paint brushes so we have paint paint can for a head there all right this room in here See the changing colors. They have the uh, record player over here. So you travel in through here. I think this is the closet of the monster room. You can see the clothes there up above our heads. You can see the monster parts in the closet, the big teeth, the eyes there, other various monster tentacles. I think that's uh, I think that's a uvula right there. The monster has two tongues. Oh yeah. Two tongues. Two tongues here. The monster. The bedroom here where the monster is invading. You can see its big monster eye poking through the window there. Foot's coming out of this other closet. What's that? You coloring the picture there? Yeah. Slowly scrubbing the it's color back. <laughs> oh no. Let me get some coloring up there. On the bed here, I was looking at some of these teddy bears. This one's got like an eye in its belly. And then, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at that teddy bear there. It's got the, the third eye there, the Anja Chakra. Oh, are we painting some sort of narwhal? Yeah. Oh, look at him. Oh no, it's moving. You can see the items here. It's just like a fuzzy, fuzzy mohawk and a bike helmet. And for some reason, there's these, like, these shoes with fuzzy bottoms here. I don't know how that's possibly practical. <laughs> I'm gonna peek under the bed here. Is there some way to uh, get under here? Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, who is that right there? Yeah, you can come through here. Yeah, this creature here lurking under the bed. Weird. Man, just crawl in. Just crawl in <laughs> under the bed. The kids are in. Where are, we, where are we now? We're with this cool little fuzzy guy. Oh, this is like this is like the narwhal. This is like the narwhal that was in that painting. Yeah. 
You can actually crawl in his mouth here. What are you doing there? Going into the into the belly of the the narwhal here. These little guys here with the teeth. And actually, I think we can we can lay down and just enjoy the narwhal's innards. Oh look, there's his little heart. Look at the cute pillows. You ever relax inside of a narwhal before? No, this is a first. <laughs> <laughs> what are you playing with there, Jen? I brought a little friend. <laughs> he has, cute. His teeth look like mine. <laughs> yeah, over there you can see the narwhal's mouth. And then I don't know who this guy is that lives in the narwhal's tail. There's a little fuzzy guy over there. Mr. Narwhal had some lunch that didn't agree with him. I definitely love the super cutesy narwhal there. I don't want to leave this room. Like, I know we just got here, but I really love this room. I think this is what the inside of my brain looks like. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably accurate. I think so. Yeah, you can see these different mountain peaks there. This one, this one's pretty happy. This one's sad because he got rear-ended and has to has to get his car fixed. And then these little, those little, almost like little, oh, these are almost like weird little possum creatures hanging off the top of the mountains there. You can see the little mountains there. Some of the bigger mountains there. Little possum creature up there. That's yeah, definitely, definitely one of my favorite rooms here at Otherworld. See the glowing rainbow unicorn horn shooting some water out of his spout there. Some more of these cute little mountains. And for the narwhal, kind of this shiny room with some floating lanterns. Oh no, this is some sort of interactive room here. Oh, okay, so you you just push your you like splatter paint on the wall with your hand. Yes. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And then it oozes, oozes down the side. It's a little laboratory here. Some uh, instructions here on the wall. Begin extracting inner tentacles from the hanging bellum. Extract sebum from the suckers. Trabucale on the aboral side while applying pressure to the oral side. Some strange things in here. I don't know if these are different like samples from the lab. Possibly most disturbing is this, I don't even know, what, how would you describe this, Jen? I think it's like a peeled bunny head face cake. A peeled bunny head face cake? Uh, yeah, it definitely has cake-like qualities, but also looks like... It's a bunny and his eyes and his teeth. I, a bunny? Okay. And his face is peeled. It's, this is horrifying. Look at this. That is weird. You can almost see it has some bones there. You got the big brain. Almost looks like some sort of, I don't know. For some reason it reminds me of a woolly booger, but maybe that's just me. But uh, some drawers here. Different creatures. Oh, some sort of flying creature there. Oh, look at that, oh, look. that one's cute. Little worm there. Some sort of weird jawbone. Yeah, this is uh, all these rooms are very strange. Oh, what's down here? Oh, look! Little chunks with eyes in them. It looks like Starro. Starro? Yeah. Uh, what's this creature here? See these tubes all leading to this big weird pod here? Oh my goodness. Oh, whoa, that's actually, something's happening. Let's see if you push these buttons here. Some television screens here. Yeah, this is weird plants. When you hit the buttons here, 
lights travel through these tubes in the ceiling. It's a mushroom of some sort in the bottom here. If you look up, this machinery, you can see that there's a little, little robot guy right there. Hey, buddy. See these dials spinning here to this button. Oh no! The button lights everything up there. Interesting. Oh, light bulb went off. So we exit the lab, head into this, this interesting garden with these weird hanging plants here. Oh, this plant here, it's got those weird pods that freak people out. Giant, giant mushrooms of some sort there. All sorts of odd plant life. Oh no, look at this. Just notice the face there in this uh, daisy. And look at the face over here on this one. Oh, that's slightly haunting. Is that cute, Jed? Um. I mean, it is, but it's also terrifying. Terrifying <laughs> and cute. Yes. <laughs> I like that it glitters. <laughs> Look at this. This big face here. Oh, it just saw a blink. With the projections on it. Here, kind of this central room. This giant tree here in the center. Just looking in this guy's mouth here. You can see he's got this dangling uvula here. You can maybe swing on this. Look at this creature here. Got the watchful eye there. You can see the lights going on in his brains. Kind of a random office in here. Although there is some sort of like giant portal there behind the desk. You can see all the pages of books sprawling out. Almost reminds me of uh, like the map from Stranger Things they made inside. And of course these books up in the air, flittering above our heads. In these cases here, they have items recovered from the other world. Little museum descriptions here. This is the Queen's bust. It says, features are nearly human. My team remains divided on whether the features are nearly alien or if the native flora has warped the original material somehow. Look at this nativity scene here, or at least it resembles a nativity scene. You can see uh, the figures are much different. And in the center there, instead of like a little baby Jesus, it's like tentacles coming out of the basket. Some other uh, alien sculptures with some uh, Christian inspiration there, almost just like Mary, Joseph, and uh, Jesus there. Look at that. Some interesting stuff. See so yeah, how the different tunnels will take you back to different parts. I know going through this tunnel will lead you back into the mouth of the guy where I uh, swang on the uvula. Now remember this gate here was actually closed last time I went through, so all this area in here is brand new. Oh, look at this. This is crazy. Some more toadstools here. And this is so cool. They actually gave me a sneak peek last time I was here. And uh, they were building this guy. So really cool to see him in place like a, like a shrine to some sort of cow of some sort. It's got levers here. What do the levers do, Jen? Oh, they fill. Oh, look, it's like filled. That makes a rooster noise. That makes his. That makes his feet turn gold. What's the other? I really like the rooster. 
to be experienced. Oh, very odd. Oh, this lady here seems to know the trick here to turning them all the way gold. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. How did she do that? This lady came in and like turned the levers in a certain way and turned him gold and then she left. Let's see if I can figure this out. So it's red. Green. Green. Purple. Yellow. Yellow? Oh. Oh, I can't. Try that one. Is it purple or orange? Orange. Orange? All right. Purple. Purple. Blue. So that last one is blue. That right really here. Is. There we go. We have obtained gold calf status. <laughs> Stepped out into this infinite hallway here. Head into the spooky room. Yeah, I think this is the spider room here. You can see the mannequin up there, all covered in spider webs. See the super spooky ironing board here with some sort of ancient tome on top. Yeah, you can see the chandelier there all covered in spider webs twirling and whirling. You can look up and see this looks like octopus like monster here. Oh look at there it goes. Oh look at it look around. I guess it's some sort of spider creature it looks around there. Oh, very spooky. Oh, there it goes. I thought it was done. It's not done being spooky yet. Look at these little things down here. Let's check out the big spider right there. What a giant spooky spider that is. room where we have the hanging webs. We'll go through the through the spider webs here. Oh my camera got caught camera got caught in the spider webs there. Let's see if I can dislodge it and there we go. There's a spider chair here. Dizzy. Very <laughs> oh, Jen, look up above you. What is it? There's some sort of ah, bunny dragon. A bunny dragon. You can see it curling through the room here. So you go through the other end of the hallway. There's the other bunny dragon there. Entering this garage here, you see these giant tentacles knocking over these cans of paint. You can even see some rubber chicken coming out of there as well as it's a slinky dog. That's yeah, like these tentacles made out of like garbage and random things. What rubber chicken Coming down these stairs, another one of these tentacles. It actually has like a saw blade there. Oh, look at that, there's a face. Oh, I love when you find the creepy faces <laughs> in things. There's a suitcase there with two big candles in it. And uh, you see the camera there sticking out of the tentacle. This is one of my favorite rooms in here. You can see the spooky cartoon projections there. So you move into this church here. You can see the cartoon ghost up there. Look at those ghosts and that moon. That is, if the moon never looks at you like that, that's not a good sign down here. Let's see these super spooky tombstones with the jack-o'-lanterns there. All right, let's head inside this church here. It looks like there's a funeral in uh, progress. Let's see this couple here wearing these masks on their face. If you look in the background, you can see masks hanging up all around the church here. This couple here with the masks. Looks like they're giving out, I don't know, they're giving out some punch. Is this maybe a 
communion. Either way, it's very almost unsettling vibe in this particular room here. Look, they got the hands like Mickey Mouse. And over here we have the casket. There's a little creepy clown baby on the casket. And uh, it's just kind of a glowing vibe. Why don't you close the casket there, Jen? And then as you close the casket, look around, notice the flowers over there die as you left, you close the casket. And then if you open, open the casket back up, then the lights come back on and the flowers spring back to life. One thing too, when the casket's closed, if you look, it turns, it's almost, you can see almost Jen is almost in black and white as well. We're in the same, same color as the rest of the room. Open, open the casket and see if it uh, returns a little bit of color to the world. You see the flowers back there popped alive. Yeah, this room is so cool. Now Jen was asking me why I thought this was a baby. His response is really funny. But I, my response is, okay, so in old cartoons, the babies always have like that one curly cue of hair, so. Whenever I draw a baby, I draw that one curly. When you draw a baby, okay. Yes. So yeah, that's the official way to draw a baby, is the one curl. I mean, real babies in, re in reality don't necessarily just have one curl of hair coming out of their head, but uh, cartoon babies do. Room here. Look up and see the bat creature there on the wall. It's got eyeballs in its wings and its face. Oh wait, something, something's happening. It's all turning blue. Did you did you do something, Jen? Did something make it turn blue? <laughs> Hear the water dripping and have a moist, drippy area. Oh, it's coming some eggs here. Some eggs of some. Oh, it looks like one of the eggs is hatched there. Oh, it's Caterpie. Some sort of transportation room. There's like little pods. Step in one of those pods, Jen. Oh, what's happening? Oh, okay, okay, you're fine. Oh look, we've wound our way back into this room here with the big tree. It's always easy to kind of find yourself popping back up in other various areas. Winding through these rooms here. What's, oh look at that. Some sort of giant, some sort of giant owl head here. Yeah? You can go inside the owl? Yeah. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, interesting. You gonna come in the owl with me? Uh, I uh, guess. <laughs> ow, ow, my backpack's done. Ow, you all right? made it! You made it? <laughs> all right, so we're just hanging out inside of a giant owl head at this point. What do you, what do you think of the owl head? Okay. <laughs> In this cloudy room here, it almost looks like a robot of some sort with these arms holding different shapes. And uh, I don't know what the... Oh wait, there it goes. Changed. Uh, it changes the color of the room. The room then has a red glow to it. Can you touch one of those other ones? Okay, that turns it green. And then there's the blue orb. Oh, this yellow triangle there. It's a very fuzzy tunnel here. This reminds me of being born. Uh-oh, the holes just got smaller. All right, let's squeeze through here. 
also wasn't kidding about being born. Oh! Oh! oh. Anyway, where'd Jen go? Looks like some glowing seaweed here. Let's uh, pass through here. Oh, there you, there you are, Jen. Oh, where are we? I think we're under the sea. There's these bubbles on the ground here. I don't know if you can, oh, there you go. Pop them with your feet. See a jellyfish there on the wall. You pet him. Oh, look, he glows when you pet him. Jen, let's see. Can you open? Oh, there we go. Get open. Oh, there's a little fish in there. Ah! <laughs> what did he do? Oh, there's like a curtain right here. Where are we? Jen, we're somewhere where I don't know where we are. Oh no! Step up on these blocks here and... Oh hey there. Oh! Something happened. When I opened the, when I opened the door, everything went all black lighty. <laughs> so if I close the door here, oh, things go back to normal. The hallway of dangly lights here. Hope you're back there, Jen. There. I don't want to lose you again. Oh, look at these. Now this is an interesting structure in here. You can see people at this like altar in the middle. There's like these blown up clouds surrounding. I think you can actually change the colors and sound using the altar here. Yeah, you actually use the light on your phone to light up different symbols here. It'll actually change the sound and lights. Oh, I just noticed a little room back in here. You know, so many tiny little rooms, you can see it's easy to miss some. See the little, little scene there. This actually located the gift shop. Actually have some plushies. Uh, there's the uh, the narwhal that we climbed inside of. Apparently uh, the narwhal's name is Miss Schmuffley. Some little Miss Schmuffley's there. And then you can see these are like the little mountains, little boulders that were uh, surrounding Miss uh, Schmuffley. What do you got there? Snort. This is snort. Is this? Oh, this is like the the possum thing that we saw climbing the mountains. His face there. Hello. Like he was climbing on the mountains in the narwhal room. <laughs> Here is Lime, the uh, gift shop associate. There's the golden cow, which apparently is named Buttercup. Oh, we got a Miss Schmuffly horn there. The horn. No, it suits you. <laughs> Some magnets here. There's the robot with the glowing shapes. There's the creepy bat creatures in the cave. And then this thing here is called a watchling. I don't know if I saw these, but they, apparently they were watching us. This little caterpillar we saw, for some reason his name is Kevin Jr. What are these things? <laughs> It's a little squid. There's a bigger one behind you. Oh, there's some big ones there. So thank you for joining me this evening as we check out Otherworld. Uh, love Otherworld, love coming by here when I'm in the area and uh, love seeing the new stuff that they've installed. Uh, last time I was here, uh, someone that worked here recognized me and they, they pulled me aside, took me back into the, uh, the their workshop and showed me they're actually constructing the cow uh, that we saw in there. So uh, it was really cool to be able to come back and see the cow in full, uh, in full, its full glory here. Uh, always a lot of fun coming out to here and seeing their their unique, uh, their unique immersive art here uh, at Otherworld. 
and um, as far as the, the as far as the next couple days go, um, I'm gonna be stranded here in uh, in Columbus for the time being. Uh, Jen will be here with me, so at least I'll have uh, her and her vehicle to help get me around. But uh, in the meantime, trying to come up with a solution to the car problem, hoping to get behind the wheel of something uh, that I can uh, possibly. I know I would love to be able to to resume the Choose My Adventure road trip. But there is no certainty. I can't uh, promise you guys that that's going to be back on track because I don't know. I don't have control over the situation. Um, I have to wait at least until Tuesday to get the rental car, and I still don't know what's going on as far as uh, my vehicle still waiting for the appraisal to happen or the person to come out and tell me uh, how messed up my car is. And uh, from there, we'll just we'll just go again. I'll be here in Columbus until at least Tuesday, possibly Wednesday. So fill up the comments section with places you'd like to see me film in the Columbus area. I'll be looking uh, for some interesting stuff to uh, to hit while I'm here and then uh, hopefully we can get back on the road in some form. Now admittedly it's been it's been a rough it's been a rough week. I've had uh, I've had my car in the shop twice for two unrelated incidents. I don't know um, this most recent incident I don't know how it's gonna play out. So yeah I've been down I'll admit I haven't been my smiliest I haven't been at, at the highest point that I can be, but I think it's good when uh, when you're down to come out, to get out, and do things, do fun things. Uh, so I do feel a little better um, just getting out of the hotel room. I kind of wanted to sleep all day, but made myself come out here. I made myself a commitment that I promised that I would would film a video today. So I went out here and filmed uh, filmed Other World, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys appreciate it. I, I do want to say I'm absolutely overwhelmed with the positivity and outpouring of support that I've. Got gotten from you guys during this this hard time and uh, I'm just trying to move forward just trying to uh, to realize I don't necessarily have control of the situation uh, but I just have to wait and see what my options are and right now all I can do is uh, try to find some fun stuff to visit in the Columbus area in the meantime uh, if you guys would like to support the channel, of course, there's always Patreon. Uh, you do donate at least $3 a month. I'll send you a postcard monthly. Uh, the enamel pins are in the Etsy shop. We still have some of the uh, Carpetbagger Fiji Merman pins. If you're interested in those, all, all those go to help out the channel. And uh, I appreciate every single person that watches these videos, every single person that contributes in a way. And um, it means the world to me. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow. So until then, this one's in the back.